many beginners are confused on which path to follow the boot camp or the self-taught path and as someone who was going self-taught before attending two coding boot camps i'm here to share with you the pros and cons of each of them i'll also be sharing with you the one that is best suited for you so please stick around to the end of this video by the way my name is Suzuka Kakasi i'm a content developer and a technical writer welcome to my channel if you don't know, a coding bootcamp is like an intensive training program that teaches you how to code. So some people are confused on whether they should register for a program or they should use free online resources that are available and start learning. And please, there's something I want to clarify in this video. Bootcamps differ. I attended two different bootcamps and I'm going to tell you for free that if I were to judge with only the first one, I'll be saying terrible things about bootcamps. But then due to the second one, there were differences which helped me understand the fact that the bootcamp you attended also matters. One of the advantages of a coding bootcamp is structured learning. When you're learning through a bootcamp, there is a curriculum, there's a syllabus, there's a step-by-step -step process of what you're meant to do after this. Once you're done with CSS, you do Tailwind. Once you're done with Tailwind, you do JavaScript, React, all that. So that structure is something that cannot be overlooked because if you are transitioning into tech from a non-technical background, just like me, I'll tell you that you're going to be very confused on the self-learning path. There are too much resources. So this structured learning of boot camps is something I consider a turn over time. Depending on the boot camp, if you have good instructors that are able to transfer the knowledge they have, I'll tell you, you are going to thrive really well. Because some instructors know these things, but they don't know how to pass the knowledge to someone. Whereas there are some that know it at the same time, they know how to pass the knowledge. So if you are lucky with the later, I'm sure you're going to try because these instructors are going to help you understand why they are doing what they are doing. And also there's opportunity for questions. You can always ask questions. You can always bring your problems to them and they will help you solve them. Unlike the self-learning part, when you don't have any direction. Another thing I also want to talk about is fast learning. Most times, boot camps have a time frame: some are three months, some are four months, some are six months. It's two way anyway. It means the training is going to be very intensive, as well as rushed. So they're teaching you these things very quickly. You are learning quickly, but at the same time, they are rushing into us to meet up with the time. Now I'm going to talk about the job placement. Most boot camps, just like the second one I attended, give us trainings on soft skills, how to apply for jobs, how to create a resume, how to do these, how to build a portfolio project and all that. So I must tell you that it's those things are going to help you get a job much quickly. You know. When you're in the self-learning part, you just keep learning and going. You are stuck. You don't know what you're doing. But if you're in a boot camp, you know when your JavaScript is enough because that's when the instructor is going to stop and start to react. Now let's talk about disadvantages of boot camps. Boot camps are normally expensive. Yeah, I was lucky to have attended via scholarships for the first and the second. I attended without paying anything but well, i know depends on the location you might not be able to get free boot camps and you have to pay some money so that part is a disadvantage if you don't have anything to put in at the moment secondly is that it's rushed most times the time frame for boot camp is just too short for you to learn anything like the first one i did was three months it was too short i couldn't even learn anything i only built on projects throughout that boot camp the next thing is that it's always like a sprint you are just putting in energy, putting in energy. We can lead to burnout. You don't have flexibility. It costs you a lot of data. It takes a lot of time. Like mine, three to four hours a day. It's very draining. So I feel that's a disadvantage of boot camp. However, you also be getting certificates. So depends on what you want anyway. I'm going to be talking about the self-taught part, the advantages. First advantage is that self-taught is flexible. You can manage it with whatever you are doing with work, with family, with schooling. It's always easy to manage when you are the one setting the pace. Another advantage of the self-taught part is that it's cheap and it's free. So you can just go online, get some resources and start learning. Some resources I know about free code camp, dormitory schools. But if you're willing to give in maybe a little money, a few dollars, you can just go on Udemy and buy a developer course and now follow it at your own pace. Now I'm going to talk about the cons of following a self-taught. In self-taught, there is lack of structure because you're always on YouTube, you're always searching what amount of JavaScript is enough, what amount of CSS is enough, and all that. I'm kidding anyway, but 
there's no structure another thing with the self-taught is that it might take longer for you to get a job because you don't have information about portfolios cvs resume soft skills and all that to help you land jobs easily so that is basically where i think about the self-taught part and how i was before i joined the podcast which one is better it depends on you it depends on your learning style if you're someone who likes deadlines if you're someone who likes accountability boot camp is for you however if you like working with your peers if you like embracing your journey little by little i think you have to go the self-taught route also it depends on your time commitment if you are willing to give in number of hours a day i think you will go the boot camp route i think your budget also matters if you're willing to give in some money to start you could just go get a course or pay for a boot camp so your budget kind of determines the one you're going to follow what about doing both? You can be in a boot camp, get direction and structure while building yourself. You can be in a boot camp, following their classes and building real world projects. You can just combine both. No part is particularly perfect per se. It just depends on you, your learning style, your budget, your time commitment. If you found this video helpful, please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel and tell me the part you would like to follow in your coding journey. See you in another video. Bye.